Hello. We've got two magnesium fire starters here. We got a Harbor Freight, $2. And this one here, you can see he's gotten the patented and all that stuff on it. And I don't know if this camera will pick it up or not, but it says right there above my finger, Dome. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, probably not, but these dones are around 12 bucks or more. 10 bucks, I don't know for sure. I haven't bought one for or seen them for a while. Anyway, and we'll go ahead and do an equal amount of scrapings in both, and we'll see what the difference is. If there really is a difference on comparing the two on how much flame they make and how easy they are to scrape. Okay, keep the Harbor Freight on the left, Doan on the right. Move it out of the way. Okay, let's go ahead and scrape some of this Harbor Freight right now real quick. The Harbor Freight, you know, I hear so much about how hard these Harbor Freights are. Ooh, they're so much harder. They're so hard to scrape yeah if you use the scraper that comes with them buy one of these bayite strikers off of amazon and get a five pack of them for like nine dollars look at this that's the harbor freight one pretty darn good question is does it burn as well as the dome Or does the dome scrape off easier or harder? You can see I'm getting some pretty nice little corkscrews with this Harbor Freight. Nice little pile, and that's from Harbor Freight. All right, a lot of corkscrew, big pieces in there. I gotta keep my fingers in front of the camera. Dang sun, you can't see the screen. Okay, set that one aside. And we'll bring in the dome. One with all the printing on it. Okay, let's scrape into the bowl from that. This one has some ridges on it because I've had this thing since the 80s. They actually have dates on them and you can't see, I have to put on my glasses to see this, but it's like 1985. I'm not sure which month, but it was manufactured in 1985. So it's an old one. And if you compare the two, they pretty much look exactly the same. So let's go ahead and scrape this one. This has got ridges on it because I used it before and I had a knife and I was trying to get the shavings off of it with a knife and it was just kept digging in. Some nice curly cues that are coming off of this dome. Seems to be a tad bit harder than my Harbor Freight one. Let's put this dome over here to the side. So let's go ahead and put this pile out of the Harbor Freight. Make sure I keep all my Harbor Freight on the left. And we'll do the spark with the Harbor Freight ferro rod that comes on it. All right, let's check this out. We go okay nice quick burn now we'll try the shavings from the dome the way more expensive I could buy five of the Harbor Freights compared to one dome now we'll use the dome scraper here for the ferro rod and get that that pile going. Okay. Huh. Isn't that amazing? Exact same burn. Harbor Freight's made in China. Dones made in the US. I'm gonna scrape a little pile with this Harbor Freight. Put a little bit of kindling on it and see if we can get it to fire up. Let's make us a nice little pile. 
put a little bit of tinder on that. This stuff burns really fast, so you want to start with <laughs> really small pieces of wood. Definitely don't want to start with stuff that's going to take a little bit harder to, or a little bit harder to get started. Okay, I'm going to use the ferrule rod that is on the Harbor Freight. That is very fast burning. Definitely got to start with small pieces. Hopefully I got this on the camera still. Yep. That's one of the things about these um, magnesium fire steels. You got to start out with little tiny pieces of shavings. Now we got a little fire going. Check that out. It works. Pick and choose whichever one you want. They both work about the same. I would actually give a lean towards the Harbor Freight. Just got a nice little fire. Now you can start putting on the little bit bigger pieces. So, hope this helps you on your decisions. Thanks for watching.